Okay. So, Mr. Gary Campbell. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. It was great having you as the great uh, as the second speaker for this guest speaker series that I have started. Business series I have started, and it's uh, great seeing you. I haven't seen you in a while, but every time I do see you, it's always something positive uh, that we exchange with one another. Um, so I just have two questions for you. Two questions. Just two. Just she two. Said just two. two. Just two. Uh, the first one is uh, the students wanted to know about how do they eliminate any negative en energy that's going to keep them from moving forward in a positive direction so they can accomplish their success. Um, what is your, uh, what advice would you give? That's pretty broad when you talk about energy, but um, if you're talking about people, Okay, let's say people. Well, positive, positive energy, uh, negative energy from people, yes. Let's be specific. If people are connected closely to you, mm -hmm. it's very hard to, um, and you're dependent on them, it's very hard for you to separate. Because what you might think that is negative is not really negative. It could, it could be just um, mm -hmm. what we call tough love or mm -hmm. real love. Okay, so... It's a lot of different directions, but if you're in a a, much, a a person of a certain age, let's let's say that, okay. um, then what's going to happen probably is that you have choices to determine whether those people are going to be close to you or not, or you can limit amount the amount of time okay. that you're with that person. Like if you're at work, mm -hmm. then you know you're probably around that person maybe only forty hours or thirty five hours. Um, if it's your girlfriend or boyfriend, or your boyfriend and your girlfriend, or your husband and wife, well, no, not husband and wife, but boyfriend and girlfriend, <laughs> um, you might have to start, you know, the exit strategy. Y'all know about the exit strategy, right? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the only thing, uh, you know. But if people are, it, um, my man, Tony Vaughn, he talks about, we were talking about somebody, he says, Gary. These, this person was, I was in their head. So you can't let, the point is, don't let people be in your head which they're, when they're affecting your decisions. Mm. Okay, that's a problem. That could be negative depending on what the information that they're wow. dropping on you. Wow. Okay, the second question, since we are talking about business, 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 would you share with everyone uh, any challenging times that you might have encountered that uh, probably that you thought were going to be real big obstacles that you thought you were not going to get to the next stage in your um, in your business in my plight in your plight on in your path. mission on your path my purpose in your purpose on the climb on the climb going to the mount going to the mount to the plateau um when I when I left uh, the federal job, that mm. yeah, I mean, when when the money runs out, mm -hmm. when you have no more contracts or no more clients, yes, and you still believe in the idea, but um, you still have to pay the rent, you still have to eat, you know, that's 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 real talk. Mm -hmm. You have to make a decision, um, or you going to get that job that doesn't fit with what you're really doing mm -hmm. just to to make it okay. you know it, it becomes difficult that i mean with the bottom line when you're in the street when you're close to the street that's when with the old folk the, the road meets the rubber <laughs> wow right right mm -hmm. you know i mean that's the issue as long as you got money and you know everything's good you know you're able to pay and have your fun do whatever you have to do take care of your responsibilities mm -hmm. that's fine but when you step out on that art, when you really step out, and like I said before, the clients are not there, mm -hmm. or you haven't been paid, or you waiting on monies and everything, you know, that's when you have to make that decision. Do I just leave this alone, or do I take a little uh, um, sabbatical? Do I just mm -hmm. set it aside from? And 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 we all come to those decisions because of the nature of the culture that we're in. Mm -hmm. We sometimes just have to take a back step. Okay. And say, okay, 
let me work this job for a little while and go back. That's those are the times when you want to give it up. But but I would encourage anybody, you, you can't give it up. You just gotta you have to just make a plan B. You have to go to plan B or plan C and then come back. You gotta come back at some time. Just okay. come back. Just come back. Okay. Just make a comeback. But don't come back twenty years later. Wow. Yeah, I don't uh, think so. You 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 have to stay in touch with the art. You have to keep the dream alive in your head. And you can't be frustrated to think that that idea or that concept is going to die because you're not doing it that minute. It doesn't work like that. Wow. You keep it in your heart and let it burn. Sometime that, sometime, and, and I'm feeling myself going to scripture now, but sometime when you fall down, when you go down, that's the place where you're able to tweak at home mm, to wow. come back and, wow. and, and deliver the goods in, in, in a more proficient, efficient, or you, you find yourself when you when you go. I mean, that's a spiritual principle. That's when you when you go principle. down, when you fall down, when, when you come out of the mountaintop, you 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 find yourself. You have to find yourself when wow. you die. When you die. So so uh, I guess if I'm pronouncing it right, that place called Lodabar is it Lodi Bar? Don't ask me. Lodabar. Lodabar? Don't do no okay. Lodabar. Lodabar. Yes. So that place is really not a bad place to be because that's probably where the real creative energy starts to manifest itself i think spiritually yeah spiritually but, yeah i think as a capitalist mm -hmm. well no i can't say that because if, if you look at artist stories most artist stories they have and within the story they do have that place of mm. where they go down you know okay. that that is a reality that's a reality of life you, you don't live on the mountaintop you know mm -hmm. you, you do go down but it's it's the state of mind what is going to be your state of mind when you down in in that in that spot in that, in that spot. location, you know, wow! Then what, what, what's the what's the state of mind? And if your state of mind is good, the state of mind and your relationship, your spiritual relationship to to nature and God, allows you to think and and live mm -hmm. and perform as if you're still on the mountaintop. You ne you never lose it. You know, you, mm -hmm. you're all, it's like you're always a winner. Always. And then, you know, it, and that goes to character. Yes. Um, and yes. and value mm -hmm. and integrity. Mm -hmm. when, when all that's in place, nothing changes. It really doesn't change. Wow. The only thing changes is how you perceive by others in culture because, you you know, you don't have this. You don't have a $1,500 apartment. You don't have a house. You don't have a car. You don't have an electric car. All, you know, all the, uh, but, you know, on and on. And on and on and on and on. Yeah. on. Okay, I think you did a nice job with, um, I think you did an excellent job with answering those two questions. And I left it at two questions as I promised I would. Two questions, two, 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 two. So um, again, uh, how can they follow you on Instagram, YouTube? Please give them the information before hashtag, we close up. Hashtag Tart, hashtag T-A-R-T-W. My Instagram IG is too long, but you can look at the interviews. Hopefully, there'll be something there for you as an artist, not as an artist. And um, just enjoy. And then find your art. Find what you're going to do. If you're writing, then write more. You know, if you're doing visual art, then take some more pictures. You know, learn from somebody. Watch somebody. And I will even say copy somebody because we all copy people. We copy people, but then at some point, the copy the copying turns into your own voice. So yeah. find okay. out That's how good. you get to That's your good. own voice. You know, but watch people. What do you want to do? What are you feeling? That's the about. What are you feeling? There's some things that you want to do, mm -hmm. and and when you find that, then tweak it, work it out. You yeah. know, mess up. You gonna mess up. You're not gonna get it perfect the first time or the second time. Or even the third year, you just keep tweaking it, you know. Just and um, and then the next thing you do, you'll, you'll realize that somebody's watching you and copying you, and you go, "Watch me!" Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay. Do you have it, Mr. Gary Campbell? I want to thank you once again Peace. for uh, joining us today. And you know who I am. I'm Dr. Valerie Small with a little bit of small advice, and we are making things happen. Have a great day.